What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Old School Review. The series where I review skateboarding videos from the past that inspired me. The format is going to be a little bit different because I have something special coming up in a few days. But, let's jump into this video. It's called Circa X Northside Productions Kibosh from 2005 Remastered by High quality skate videos, as always, make sure to subscribe to them. They're doing the Lord's work in remastering these skate videos, making them 60 frames per second, and widening them so that we don't have to watch square footage because nobody likes to do that. Uh, I don't know any of the guys' names in here. I have never saw this video as a kid, so it's a fake ninja review because usually I'm reviewing something I've seen before. We haven't seen this. Whatever. Rewind and play. YouTube's loading. Kickflip front board. I don't know any of these guys' names, but I did watch a video from around this time period. Did I just say I started skating in 2005? That was a lie. I started skating in the year 2000, but I got good at skating, or at least I got my newest camera in 2005. I remember a lot of this from the North video, and this video says Circa X Northside, and I'm not sure if Northside is the same as North. Because the video we watched, and I think I've even done an old school review on it, called North, it had Ted DeGro, uh, Russ Milligan, uh, Sheldon, it had a bunch of ledge guys, uh, who else? I can't even remember now. A lot of Canadian guys, the whole thing's Canadian, and I see all these Canadian spots. Scott DeCenzo, looks like a fucking one year old. Push twine, uh, three time, four time, uh, five time, uh, six time, uh. what's the point of this? Front boards across, comes out fakey, arms going crazy. How old do you think T-Funk was in this time period? Probably coming out of the womb, just doing this all over the place. Uh, little kid style is always terrible. These ledges I've seen in a lot of Canadian videos. Terrible tiny switch frontside flip. Some little kids just have the worst, absolute worst steez. You look at P-Rod, one of the, I don't know, exceptions to the rule. Even as a kid... Had good steez. Then you look at this. Well, I mean, I'm looking for a good example. We'll see one. Ah, right there. The crook, no pop out. He doesn't have leg muscles yet. Rides up, turns around. I don't know. See, this, if I was watching this any other time, this is where I'd fast forward. Let's see what this guy's name is. Ryan Desenzo. Who do we just watch? How many fucking Desenzos are there? And how young are they? And how many times do they push? Oh, man. The new school, two pushes and you're out. It's like a short version of baseball. Oh, that was nice. Front blunt across. Made his own little skate park here. Oh, that was good. He kind of popped out of the front nose. What a great spot that would be. It's basically just a flat bar, but you have a gap. So it makes it look more aesthetic. Unlike that spot where you just put a pallet and a bench. This is cool, man. 2005. <laughs> I can't believe I said earlier that I started skating in 2005. That'd be crazy. Yeah, I've seen a lot of these camera angles, like that one right there. A lot of these camera angles, and, like, the clothing is the same. I have that memory where I can't remember anybody who I met last week. I don't know what I had for breakfast. But I can remember a lot about skate videos. And uh, some of these spots and the way that they're filmed... And the backgrounds, and even the skaters' clothing. Wow, what a nice hard flip. It reminds me of something I've seen before, but I never saw this video. Who's this fucking guy? Mike Moe's fucking gay brother. Warren... Oh, oh. I, I don't know how to say that last name. This is like... This is what happens when I watch hockey. I can never read anybody's name. There's a guy on the Golden Knights whose last name is Roy, but it's pronounced Wa. Mise en place, chiffonade, uh, how do you say cheese omelette, omelette au fromage, could you imagine having a, <laughs> can you imagine having like a buddy you grew up skating with who was Canadian, he's like, what's that kickflip all the boot, eh, <laughs> yeah, nice joke, keep the jokes coming, alright, big back, uh, lip shove, is this the same guy, we probably switched to somebody else, you guys know I rode for Circa, for a while uh if you watched some of the footage i put up on instagram recently i have these bright bright orange shoes those are some of my favorites all right fast forward this guy whatever next guy 
Hurry up, YouTube! We're live right now! Oh, no! What is this bullshit? Jason Crawley, and now my... Why did I go down to 360p? Jesus Christ! Switch tray? Oh, maybe regular tray. Yeah, definitely regular now. Crooked grind down. This, guy, this guy's gonna be terrible. <laughs> this guy reminds me of, like, uh... Adam Diet, and there was another guy. Oh, I'm not gonna remember the name. This guy reminds me of a goofy stance to Adam Diet. Just wild, wildly going down handrails, and things just happen to work out. Remember uh, Ben Gilly? He would just 50 50 a 500,000 stare, but he would look like he doesn't even know how to Ollie. Alright, moving forward, moving forward. I don't know what I'm watching here. Like this. I don't know who this guy is, but I feel like when I watched the North video, I was seeing the same style. Or is this Sheldon? Oh, I'll never, I'll never know. See, I remember all this. He, in the other one, he did a front feeble. And then right here, he did 270 without the body burial. Oh, I swear to God, if we went back and watched the North video, we're going to see the same guy, same angles, same tricks, same spot as that right there. This is the guy, man. He has one eye. You're going to remember a skater with one fucking eyeball, man. It's unforgettable. And unforgivable. All right. This guy. <laughs> Another little kid. Little kid style. Little kid chain. Okay, come on. Nice pop shove it. Not bad. Are we going to get a regular kick flip from every little kid? Oh, front side flip. Wait, I still need the kick flip. Tray flip. Don't worry, we'll get there. Oh, is he going to prove me wrong? He did. Tray flip. Uh, manual with the heel probably dragging. Let's fast forward. Boring guy. What was that big handrail? Oh, that guy had every piece of his clothing with Circa. We got the Adam Diet C's right there. Oh, the slow nollie flip. Extra Circa. Wait a minute. Have you guys seen the uh, advertisements for those super big hats? <laughs> Wait a minute, dude. Have you ever seen a hat that fucking big on a person with a head that that's so small? <laughs> it's like a bobblehead. Oh, God. Okay, moving on. Moving on. What do we got? Last part. You guys can watch this on your own time. You guys can check out uh, high-quality skate videos. Link will be in the description below. I don't know if I've ever seen a more feminine Switch 3 shove, but the Mongo push definitely matches. Look at the, look at the wrists right now, dude. Oh. It looks like he doesn't want to touch like whatever's in front of him. I was like a little kid, like, trying a new food. Like, uh, I don't know if I want to try it. <laughs> the limp wrist. And the limp wrist with the Mongo is... <laughs> he's, he's a generation too early. He's a generation too early. Nice. Is that Switch? Okay, maybe this is more of his game. His game is uh, more like ledges. <laughs> <laughs> if this guy had like cuffed pants and like a bra, he would be perfect for like whatever's going on in New York right now. They would he would be the he'd be skater of the year right now. I think I think the new like the new cool thing in skating is to just look like look like everything around you is icky. Like everything's icky. Ugh. I don't know if I can say it. Maybe I'm not using the right words, but you guys it's one of those things where you know it when you see it. Look at that. Nice. Over the grate. Under the ladder. Alright, fast forward. Let's get the manual guy. I know the last guy is a manual skater. I think. Is that him? <laughs> By the way, you guys can read the chat room over here. People are chatting. I'm trying not to read the chat because you guys are going to distract me. Now we got Nate. Ro rolling. 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 It's the last part we're going to watch. Like I said, we're going to skim through this. You guys can watch it. On your own time if you want to. All right, got the tail slide flip. Try not to tic tac. Finish off with the back tail flip. I thought it was gonna be a big spin. What a terrible spot. Your skateboard goes in the street. Miserable. Manual up. Kick flip. On the way down. I swear I've done that trick in my life, but no one would ever believe me. Like this spot looks so good, dude. 
That's a really aesthetic spot. We got the switch shield manual. Nolly, varial flip, nose manual. So, I don't have time this year, but sometime next year. In the first quarter, I'm going to do Nolly, varial flip, manual. A a as part of my thing where I try to learn a new trick every week. Wow, that blinking L is fucking annoying. And it's blocking the screen. Can somebody else type a bunch of shit to get rid of that, please? I always wanted to skate this spot as a kid. I thought it'd be perfect. Uh, two perfect handrails back to back. And it looks like it's at a school. Switch flip across. I don't like the whole, like, I have a three stair, but I'm adding, I add a bench to it. So it's suddenly, now it's a, now it's a harder spot. What a nice kick flip. Wow. All right, you know what? We'll stop there. We got a really nice kick flip. Let's see if we can get a thumbnail. And then we'll call it a, uh, we'll call it an old school review. I have some big news coming soon for my YouTube channel, but I can't tell you guys what it is just yet. I mean, I guess I can. I'm making a new YouTube channel, but I'm not going to tell you guys anything about it until next week. I'm filming this a day early so that I can have an extra day to prepare for the new channel getting announced. Anyways, that's old school review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I would love to review more footage from you guys if you have footage or you know somebody who does have footage. Go back, watch an episode of Ninja Review, and watch it very closely. Because you need to follow the correct steps to submit your footage to me so that I can review a regular skateboarding video with regular people instead of these guys from 2005. Half of these guys are probably dead by now, right? And one day I'll be dead, and you guys are going to wish that you would have sent me a Ninja Review. So get to work, you fucking lazy assholes. I know it's winter time. Uh, go back, watch Ninja Review, follow the instructions, right? Send me a message, make sure it's HD, send the link, not too much Tic Tacs. And, uh, as always, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Make sure to subscribe. Oh my god, all these little things are coming on the screen right now. Click the subscribe and all that, click do what it says. That's it. And if you didn't know, I stream on Twitch like this all the time. I never show you guys on YouTube, but this happens all the time. Reviewing skate videos on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Ninja Lifestyle. That's it. Uh, Kuna Matata. Bitches.